So today I'm going to be doing a video, kind of a video on a Halloween look as well as on these really cute, cool fangs by Scarecrow Fangs. Um, so I hope you like it. Um, so these are like the small, I think, what are they called? There's two sizes in these and uh, you can get them at Spirit Halloween. Um, the small fangs. So these ones are uh, for smaller teeth if you want a more subtle look. And then there's a deluxe set which is bigger. And then they also have werewolf teeth. So that's kind of cool. So I got the small ones because I wasn't sure how they were going to look. And they come in this really cute coffin case. And when you open it up, you have the two fangs. Carefully take out the sponge back. And then you have a little mixing cup, a little wood stick, a little solution. It's actually quite cute. And that's to put the solution on these teeth. You mold them to your teeth, each one five minutes, and then you pop them off. And after 15 minutes, pop them off because the solution keeps hardening, so you definitely don't want to sleep in them. Um, and it keeps hardening for about 24 hours, the instructions said. And then uh, once you pop them off, let them harden, you can put them back on, and they supposedly fit to your teeth. At least that's how I read the instructions, so hopefully I got that right. So I'll be doing a little vampire look today in honor of Halloween and of these fangs. And I'll be in San Luis Obispo for Scarecrow Vampire's premier Halloween vampire party. I'll be there photographing. And so I thought it'd be fun to pre-review these, do these, um, try them out. And I hope you guys like the video. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to take your fang and basically uh, fit it to your teeth. Because these are the small, um, subtle ones, instead of putting it on your canine, you're gonna put it right here. And at least that's the picture. There is a info pamphlet that tells you how to do it and shows you pictures, so that's super helpful. And um, so basically it tells you for the first, first ones you wanna fit it See where you want it. <laughs> anyway, and um, so we're going to take one capsule of powder. You're going to twist it apart. Um, it comes in a little kind of carrying case. So you want to empty it completely. Uh, you want to tilt the powder so it contacts on the edge of the tooth. You don't want to get it into the deep cavity. Um, the instructions are specific about that. And you stir with the little end of the stick that comes with it for 30 seconds to a minute until the mixture is uniform. So it's got this little solution and then it's also got the capsules. And there's about four capsules. So um, you only need one. Um, and you snap the bottle and you squeeze four drops. Uh, and it says for shredders, use eight drops, nine if it seems too dry, onto the powder, stir well. And then the point of fitting this ahead of time is so you aren't fumbling and you're able to fit it right when the solution is on it. Um, so your first thing, you're gonna mix the solution. You're gonna make sure that it's on the walls of it, but not on deep into the cavity because you want it to adhere to your real teeth. At least that's how I'm reading the instructions. Um, you want to place it on your teeth, hold it for about five minutes, and then once five minutes has passed, loosen it um, before it's ready. Am I reading this right? I don't know. Anyway, so I'm just gonna do it, and then I'll let you know at the end. Okay, stay tuned. Hey guys, so I wasn't able to film while I was adhering the fangs to my teeth because I just did a short clip where I showed you how I had to tip back and it stops you from drooling. Um, but so I'll explain what I did. So basically you get a solution in this capsule. You gently pinch it apart and put it in the container, tilt it to one side and use the wide end of the stick, add four drops, um, mix it so it's towards the bottom and all together and it very quickly adheres and becomes very thick and moldy. You put it on the back walls or the walls, I'm sorry, of the tooth and it actually fills it up because it's so thick and then you press it on your tooth that you're going to put it on and because you've already practiced the fit, 
um, you know exactly where to move it and how you want it to look, which will help because when the solutions, when you press it down on the tooth, the glue type stuff will spread out and you can't really see the edge of your tooth. So this way, if you've practiced ahead of time, you get a better idea of where you want that tooth. Anyway, so I probably gave it 10 minutes on each side. I did the first one and then you do the second one and you have to hold your head back so you don't drool. And I gently pressed down, uh, making sure they stayed on. And then now I take my baby little clippers and I'm just clipping the excess. So whatever's showing in the front, I'm basically clipping off. And then now the tooth should be able to fit snugly on and off. And they give you an extra couple capsules. So I guess if it doesn't fit exactly or if you have kind of fumble, you can do it again. So that's really neat. And so you just keep going around it and you don't clip the tooth, you just clip the excess and you want to leave what's inside the back of it because that's going to help it fit snugly onto your own tooth because all teeth are different shapes, sizes, etc. So it's kind of neat. So um, there's no cap for the liquid. So that's a one time thing. I don't know if they sell it separately. Um, but you do have the container to store your fangs in and wear again for cosplay or Halloween. And I will do a look, so stay tuned. Um, I'll show you a glam vampire. All right. Okay, so I've gone around and trimmed around the tooth. As you can see, it's all clean, so it can fit nice and neat. It just pops back on. And then as you can see, when you first take it off, it's gonna look like that. It's gonna have glue all around it. And so that's why you need to trim it. And you wanna be careful. You don't wanna trim away what's in here because that's what's helping it fit. And voila. So I'm gonna finish trimming the other one. Hang on. Okay, so I've trimmed them. And you can see I just fit them right back on. So it's kinda neat. All right. So they're still hardening, so I'm going to give them a second, make sure that the inside doesn't come out, and I'll be right back. 